Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be learning how to do the blending of Prussian blue with titanium white. So I've got these colors from Camel and I'm going to be doing this on um, a paper which is good to hold your acrylic paints. It's anything above 400 GSM. So I'm just going to pin this down on my cutting mat and then we will start painting. If you don't have the same colors then it's fine. Just pick any two colors and get a nice flat brush along because it's the best for blending of acrylics. So for acrylics, it's very important that you have a nice opaque finish. You don't want your paper to be seen through. So I'm taking a squeeze of the Prussian blue first on the top and then I'm going to have a little bit of titanium white at the bottom. We're going to take our flat brush a little bigger in size. This is A6 size uh, paper and my flat brush must be anywhere around 6 or 8 size. I think it's, this is 6 size and um, I'm going to just wet it a little bit and make sure that there's no other color in my water and remove all the excess water because we want pretty translucent, uh, opaque feel of your acrylics. So I'm just moving my color left to right. You can see it's nice, thick, creamy. So it's pretty opaque that way. So camel colors are generally very opaque. I will really like them for that. And when we come to the white, we'll be picking a little bit of it, blending it from the bottom to the top, and then we will go down. So you can decide at this point the kind of strokes that you want. I'm going a little curve, not too much. Towards the end, I will be doing a lot more curves and I won't leave a completely smooth blend because I want some texture of the white to be seen. So even right now, you can leave it at this stage if you want, but in the middle, there's a very sharp line. So you really need to blend that bit. At this point, if you want, you can also wash your brush. But since I wanted a little bit of curvy strokes to be seen, I'm leaving it like that. So now when it is completely dry, you can see that there are very, very beautiful curved strokes that is seen in the top. So this is achieved by uh, letting a little bit of white paint be in your brush when you're doing the blending and not over blending it. If you're going to over blend it, it's going to become completely smooth and you will use, lose these beautiful textures which come with your brush. I hope today's tutorial was helpful for you to understand how to do this. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you soon for the next video. Bye-bye.